Hello and welcome, it's Science Fiction Snob. Today I'd like to talk to you about the novel Armor by John Steckley. This is one of the, another one that I would consider important that any true snob would read. Uh, however, this is kind of a forgotten author, a forgotten novel. Uh, and it's a great novel. I'm not sure why it's not more well known. So uh, the writer, John Steckley, who passed away in uh, 2010, he uh, only wrote two big novels, and the other one was about vampires, and it was turned into a, I think it's, it was a John Carpenter movie, John Carpenter's Vampires. But anyway, we're not going to talk about that, we're going to talk about science fiction. The novel Armor, uh, it's actually a, um, it's kind of similar to uh, Starship Troopers. It's a science, it's a military science fiction novel, but it focuses less on the political aspects of the military and more on the psychological effects of uh, war and violence on the main character. So the book is actually two, uh, it's two different parts. So the first part has to do with, uh, we meet the protagonist, his name is Felix. He's an, an uh, has enlisted in this war that's going on in Banshee. And at the time, the human race is fighting against uh, sort of three meter tall insects they call ants. So it's uh, it's all about uh, that war and how and how that war is going on. Armor, of course, refers to the armored suits that they wear. Now, um, Felix is a scout, and uh, he's involved in this endless war. He is a great uh, a great soldier. He seems to survive when the like the the uh, life expectancy for scouts in this um, war is very low, like four missions, and he's on up to his twentieth mission. So he's a bit of a you know when people find this out, they're surprised about him. But the first part has to do with uh, Felix um, and his uh, you know how good he is at his job, but. Yet all of his superiors, his, the officers above him, the whole war itself, they're all incompetent, seemingly incompetent. They, um, you know, they just make these decisions which are, you know, get people killed all the time. And he's sort of damaged by that. Um, and also it has an interesting concept in it called the engine. And this is uh, Felix. This is something that Felix uses this to kind of take himself out of his body, and he becomes not himself. The engine. He becomes the engine, and the uh, this persona just is is all about survival, and this is you know what he uses to help him survive these battles. So I don't want to go into any more details of what happens on there. It's quite interesting. Uh, you know, goes into the the incompetence of superiors and what happens. Uh, it's good. You should read it. Uh, the second portion of the uh, the book, and let me tell you that these two uh, plots, these two portions of the book, interweave at the end of the second uh, portion. I don't want to tell you why because it's a great, it's a good reveal, and uh, you know you might figure it out, but it's a good reveal and uh, it makes the book. So the second part starts on the planet of uh, Stanchion, which is you know, very far, uh, far removed from the war. It introduce, introduces Jack Crow, a, a notorious uh, pirate. Uh, it has to do with uh, this uh, criminal that he agrees, he agrees to help this criminal. Um, he goes down to the planet of Sanction and he's going to uh, open up this uh, fleet research facility there. This other criminal wants us uh, some uh, portion something from there some information uh, he wants uh, information and also I think he wants power cells something like that something very you know um, so uh, Jack Crow is a, he's kind of a rogue he does things for himself but yet he comes across this um, the him and some of the he's trying to infiltrate the uh, the uh, work his way in with some of the uh, scientists in the uh, fleet research station so he uh, they have this suit of black scout armor and uh, through that they are able to you know they're able to hook it up and they're able to ex virtually experience what the wear of the armor went through through its its battle recorder so 
a large portion of the second uh, uh, second part of the novel has to do with Jack and the scientists, you know, watching this, experiencing it uh, in like a three D reality, and understanding aspects of the battle with these ants that um, you know from a sort of a first person view. And it's also, you know, a different view than some. We can we gain more information about the the scout. Um, you know, it's Felix. It's the scout from you know the first part of the uh, the book. Uh, and then there is a bit of a situation, a battle situation, and you know things are revealed. So uh, you know the second part again, as I said, focuses on Jack and his. You know, he's a, like I said, a rogue, but he kind of changes. He kind of, uh, you know, likes these people. Um, you know, he sees something different uh, when he when he's learning about the battle. A lot, uh, you know, through the eyes of Felix, a lot different than what they've been given in propaganda. So uh, I don't want to go any more than that because it's, uh, like I said, it's 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 really good. Uh, and the this, this situation at the end, um, awesome. So uh, now John Steckley was supposed to be working on a, 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 a follow-up to this Armor Two or something like that because the uh, you know it ends on I would it doesn't end on a cliffhanger but you know you could easily write another uh, book but unfortunately he died before that is so there's before he could finish that book so a known um, idea of how far they're into the book or um, you know how far he was into it or anything like that if there's any plan to uh, put it out I mean I'm assuming it's right now it's basically 10 years since he died if they were planning on putting it out uh, putting it out they would have put it out much sooner than this I would assume but anyway even without a um, without a second book you know the novel stands alone it's a great uh, look into the psychology of violence and the psychology of soldiers and soldiering and the incompetence of superiors, all that good stuff. Uh, one of my uh, favorite books, and I don't understand why it isn't more popular. So hopefully this will give you an idea. I'm hoping you're going to go out there and give this book a read. Highly recommend it. Um, go out and, and get it and read it. Uh, other than that, subscribe like all that good stuff and we'll see you on the next one